Hi, what's up, y'all? It's Pop and Spark Me. Today, about to react to this vid. It's titled The Craziest Moments on the Pop the Balloon, a Fine Love Show. Listen, this show <laughs> has brought us some very entertaining moments. I don't know why, but lately I've been quoting I'm from the ghetto. <laughs> that that last uh, episode I reacted to was was funny. It was it was, it was really funny. Anyway, let's let's see what these crazy moments are. Cause the only ones that I've reacted to that I've ever watched were the Turtle Man, the Ninja Turtle Man, <laughs> the the tall uh, doctor, and um, I'm from the ghetto. The, 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 those are the only three that I have witnessed. But anyway, uh, yeah, let's see. What the hell is this? They lied about everything. You feel me? I work hard. Oh, I got three different good. businesses. You feel me? I'm an owner of something. Like I, I got a full time job. Like I want to be loved, but I don't. I don't mind a woman have her own thing. So he was a rapper. I ain't no hater. Okay. You feel me? We get, <laughs> no you hater. Know, you got kids? I got one son. Okay. Just so you don't mind a woman with kids? Hell no. Hell no. You want more? <laughs> yes, I wouldn't mind. You feel me? My the the mother of my child has her own family going on. You feel me? So. It's not yeah, like baby. I got any drama going on. I just financially support see my son when I'm able to see him. You oh. feel me? So, you feel me? I don't mind. Oh, able to see him. Do you got your own space on YouTube? Hell yeah, I do okay, my so own thing. Let me know something. Yeah, yeah. Several months later. So, what I asked on the show. You got your own space on here too? Hell yeah, I do okay, my so own thing. He announced, yeah. To me, yet yeah, again, if you say, yeah, I'm thinking you have your own. You're, you're established out here. Mm -hmm. So when I asked him um, if he did, I was like, I hope you, you know, you weren't lying. You do have, actually have your own space out here. And then he was like, oh no. I was, he was like, I was lying. I live with my grandma. And I was like, what? Like, <laughs> you just. I got three different businesses. You gave me, I'm an owner of something. Like, of something? <laughs> I don't even get that. Yeah, she lit up the same just she switched me. The way the body is, yeah, we like that, you know? <laughs> but. It was, for me, it was the kind of that sarcasm and your facial expressions was real strong. And I was like, I can't do it. And then lastly, I don't know, I just wasn't getting positive energy from it. So, Not you know, I was say. like, I might have to like some Palo Santo around you just to bring some positive energy you know, oh. around you and everything. But, um, yeah, that <laughs> was uh, that was why I popped my balloon. What? <laughs> Anything you have to say in regards to um, you know what? Perception is reality. Mm -hmm. I don't think you really know me, but I can understand off of optics. We all have our own point of view. And our this one is fine to the right. Um, I'm going to keep it a buck with you. I am very sarcastic. Mm -hmm. I like to be funny. I like to joke. So it can be off putting to a few folks. Mm -hmm. And that's your preference. That's cool. And then you come here pretending there is a serious issue to avoid facing the fact that you gain. And sir, if we can have your name, how old are you? Why you popped your balloon? Yes, my name is Elam, and I'm 38 years old. I oh, popped my balloon not because you're not gorgeous, not because some men can't hold space for your emotions, but for me, it was the weight loss. And while we are all proud of you for losing the weight, I am considering the risk long term. You may have health problems down the line that we may have to work with and the habits that you've developed over time are going to be challenging to upkeep in your 40s and 50s and 60s so for me i'm concerned about your health come on now dog no, period of time come on man okay okay and any response to that um i am vegan ish i don't eat beef pork chicken or dairy um, because I am a health nut, I go get tested what? for everything. I have no high cholesterol, no high blood pressure, no diabetes, no nothing. I'm completely healthy. Um, my blood pressure is A1. I work out five to six times a week. I strength train as well. Um, I eat very clean. I'm just in a thicker body, very physically fit outside the clothes. Um, but to each his own, if you're worried about health things, just because somebody's in a smaller frame doesn't make them healthier than me. And to be honest with you, I'm a little thick one, but I can, I can run with the big boys or the big girls. I get down in the gym, baby. I do it all. So I understand. Hmm. <laughs> yeah, you know. <laughs> Joseph Smith, 37. Yeah, and Joseph, shit. what do you do? I'm an Uber and Lyft driver full time. Okay. And why did you end up popping your balloon? I don't know. It's the knee, the right knee. 
He got something going on. What? I don't know what, what it is. I got eggs. And I use coconut oil. And Me too. You zoom in on that. Um. All the discrimination. I'm triggered because I got X. <laughs> uh, I show my skincare routine. If you guys want to see it, it's over on D Chanel TV. My skin used to be fucked up. All right, I'm real ugly. <laughs> all right, uh, uh, but yeah, I got eczema. I got hyperpigmentation, acne, all that shit. All right, and yeah, when you have eczema, you definitely uh, scar, and those scarring areas they they are darker. So. Is that what he's talking about? Because her right knee is dark, a little dark. Like, my elbows are kind of dark because the eczema was there. I got areas around my temple that are kind of dark. So I was like, damn, what's she supposed to do about that? Listen, you could use all of the ointments and stuff. <laughs> but if you got the, the skin condition, you got the skin condition. It is what it is. Don't know why it's like that. So I seen it and the I was discrimination. like, she's not going to take my coconut oil regimen seriously yeah. everything else looked moisturized you know but i seen that Ooh. and that was, was kind of look at his blast. face the guy that's it. it that's it that's the only <gasps> thing just oh, the no. right day i mean you do gotta stay moisturized <laughs> that's why i have like you know people were trying to come for me or whatever a couple people dm me when i brought these bottles out when i was about the whole diddy situation but i have a skin condition so y'all are making fun of my my Skin disease, haha, <laughs> very funny. Anyway, um, I have just bad eczema, so I'm always like, I have, and not just baby oil. I got lotions like everywhere. <laughs> All right, I just have to. I need like things to stay moisturized because of that. Eczema can just, you know, be very persistent. The dryness, so the I use the lotion and then the oil to lock it in not just uh baby oil I have different oils I use coconut oil as well like he stated um but yeah you just have to be moisturized and the reason why I have these little bottles is because I travel with them so I just get a lot of not a lot lot but I just get the little small little bottles but yeah I got little travel lotions <laughs> Listen, you gotta say moisturizer when you have that. But damn, like, what's she supposed to do about that? That's rude. No, it's, I mean, everything else is good. You're beautiful. But that right there, to me. I don't even see it. Uh, I, I guess it's a little darker. Moisturized. I feel you. Yeah. I actually fail. You fail? Oh. I fail. And I was thinking of something like that. I was thinking of something like that. My feminism is yeah. in this healing process. Okay, all right. Okay. Yeah. Who but mentioned, oh, he you mentioned excellent. You gotta take care of He said he got We can have your name and age and why you ended up popping. My name is Kayla. I'm 23. Um, I just popped in just because I don't like your outfit. I like your face. I like your height. I like everything about you. Like, if you had something different, I would definitely like you. Like, pick me. Oh, anime. Not that either. Mm, Pokemon. So that's a deal or no, I don't know. It's Good just bro. childish. But if you would have probably took the flannel off, maybe sure. it would have gave a little bit more. But you're making me hot standing in front of me. Sure, so, yeah. Sure, sure, sure. Very but good. that's it. That works. And your name's Chandler. Yeah. What is it? What do you want to know about that? But yeah, that's it. No worries. We do you know, and I was trying to take up for her when the Ninja Turtle man was roasting the fuck out of her. I'm pretty sure uh, that's the last time I saw her. Um, but girl, shut up. I'm not the <laughs> here. You can have your name and age. Hi, my name is Mishnah. I'm Tony Chandler. And Mishnah, why do you still have your balloon unpopped? Well, with all of my fellow colleagues, they had a lot of colleagues? good points. But I feel like when it comes to your outfit, you could always change your clothes. Yeah. And, What's the and problem? I feel like when she was talking about anime, I'm a big anime nerd. Perfect. And she was saying, oh, anime is childish. So I'm like, that's what I'm looking for. That's what I'm looking for. Yes, ma'am. Yes, ma'am. Yes, ma yes. That gets on my nerves, though. I don't like when people are into anime and they try to push it on you or they get so excited when you like it. Like, bro, enjoy your nerdy shit over there. Like, it's fine. I'm not going to judge you for it. <laughs> As I just called it nerdy. I'm, I'm just being stupid. I'm joking. Um, but it's like, cool. You like it, but I don't. You don't have to push it on me. I had an ex who did that. He made me watch Never Neverland. <laughs> is that what it's called? Never the the one with the orphan kids and they was like killing them or whatever. It was kind of interesting, but it's like, bro, I don't I don't need to watch it. We could have different hobbies. It's fine. Uh, so yeah, I don't know why people do that. I feel like anime people in particular they do that a lot. 
to where they, they want you to watch it too and like it too. Or, you know, if you don't like it, then they, they get very defensive and upset over it. It's like they're insecure for liking it or something. <laughs> I don't know what it is. It's very weird. I, I find that they do it the most from my experience and what I've seen. It's like, nigga. The way you were um, responding to the other lady's answers, it wasn't defensive. It was like, well, I know I'm good looking. Like, but you seem very nice. Yeah. You seem very nice. Thank you. Thank you. And I'm looking for someone nice. Thank you. Thank you. Okay, so let me just let's, me let's walk like in nice here. Fit. Come on up, come yeah, on. Yeah, I'm with that. I'm with that. I'm with that. I'm with that. Yes, His fit ain't even that bad. Y'all doing good. She decent, but um, you know, she she still over that. She, she got some shit going on with that. She gotta figure that out first. No, I really don't. I just when I see your repetition, I know to go opposite way. So you projecting on the next man? Oh. Okay. You are. What did she say? Like, I'm taking you know, what you're going to figure it out. Next. <laughs> 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 Let's go. Not over here. <laughs> All right. And why did you end up popping your little I'm not popping it. Because you quiet. Oh, I'm always quiet. Yeah. Uh, yeah. He's very quiet. I'm wild. I can tell. Yeah. So, I don't know. I don't mind laid back good. Mm-hmm. I prefer it to be on. Mm. Mm. Especially over being loud. Mm. Shut up. Is she your type? No. Uh, but you, you know, right? somebody gonna be there for you. Oh! Somebody will. Uh, mm -hmm. Cause I'm there. Yeah. <laughs> That's why I pop my balloon. Yeah. yeah. Okay. Nick. 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 Oh my goodness! Alright, if we can oh, have your name and age and why you popped your balloon. Hi, my name is Karma. <laughs> For me, it just did not work. I didn't feel like I had chemistry or I wasn't fully attracted to you. And I feel like that counts if we were going to be going through a dating show. You know? Yes, the feeling is definitely mutual. <laughs> so, uh, that's okay. Thank you. You did me a favor. You know, absolutely. Yeah. I'm glad you have a great Thank day. Thank you, Queen. You too. Okay. Your name and age and why you ended up popping your balloon. Brianna. <laughs> Look at her. My eyes are... Or up here, baby. Are you looking at the tattoo? No, I, I'm, I'm looking at the hair on your arms. You know, the women I deal with, they don't have hair on their don't arms. Don't do too much. Hey, I'm just being honest. Don't do too much. You know, I, I don't like that. That's okay. all I was looking at. You trying to say if I'm looking at particular body parts. You just parts, wasn't looking at my eyes. That I was looking at the hair on your Anyways, arms. Anyways, she asked me the question. Yes. Um, <laughs> yes. <laughs> yeah, I'm in heels and you ain't talking Okay. My name is Kayla. I'm 23. Um, originally, I was not going to pop my balloon because I know a lot of them popped it because he was being, I guess, arrogant. But to me, I like my man that's not going to sit in every girl's face and, you know, complimenting them, you know? So I didn't find that offensive to me. But you kind of got a little bit catty with me. You a little sassy just a little bit. And since you want to come at everybody over here, I'm going to get at you too. You kind of look like an intern. You're not that cute. You, you need to relax. You stocky as hell, and I was trying to be respectful, but yeah. like you was, you was really coming out like I didn't, I didn't like it. I'm from the south, and I can handle like a lot of like criticism and stuff like yeah. that. But the way you was coming, you just act like you got it all like that. And I guarantee you probably got a roommate at home. Damn. And it's just not giving anymore. Well, let me say this, Queen. I'm a licensed plumber, you know, wow, and sir. you're not even qualified in you dealing say everybody with me. Not qualified. You definitely not. You know, if anything, it was one of these two. I wasn't even looking your way. You and didn't want to type. You if I seen, that, that's fine. So that, that is, that's totally fine. Okay. But one thing about me, I could pull a hundred thousand out of the bank. Can you do the same? Get this yeah, you can't, can't do that. Right you can't do that, that though, baby. Yeah, let's move on. Let's do that though, Queen. I cannot. And you can tell the back and forth is real. Because I know a lot of people question if this is, you know, fake, or scripted. I don't think it is. I mean, obviously, I think some of these people are just here just for visibility. Maybe they're trying to get clout out of it. Um, they're probably not actually looking for love. But you can tell the, the back and forth is real. Like, it doesn't give scripted or, or bad acting or anything. Like, this is just how they're interacting. Um, but, of course, some people might be putting on extras just because they know a camera is there. So, that part might be fake, if you will. But I do think the interactions are authentic. They seem very authentic. <laughs> um, so, yeah, it's just, it's wild. This, this was definitely entertaining, though. Y'all let me know what y'all think. Let me know what other videos you want to watch, and I'll see you on the next one. Bye!